All right, what is going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna be on the jetty and it's hard to get this pole in the frame, but that's a 12 foot pole. I got my, uh, my squid, double squid on there. I tried the, uh, the shrimp the other day. Didn't work out too well, so I'm just gonna go back to what I know. It probably works for y'all, but for some reason it just doesn't work for me. But yeah, so this is the spot we're fishing. Uh, I think it's 21, number 21 on the jetty. And if you guys don't know, uh, the farther you go out on the jetty, obviously the numbers go up. So it starts with, I'm assuming one, and then you come in at 15, and then you go all the way out there to 52 is the farthest. Okay, here's the spot. Right, yeah, let's get out there. Alrighty. Got our Icentennial reel on there. This time I'm gonna make sure the bale's open the first time. And yeah, you guys, cameras don't really do this thing justice. 12 foot pole. We'll see how it goes in the jetty. It would have been good on the beach if all the surfers weren't there. And now I'm looking at the beach now, there's not a lot of people. So I should have did this video in reverse, but whatever. Let's get out there. Enough with the chit chatting. It doesn't really go any farther than the other ones. I could always switch my uh, my weight too to the four ounce. Maybe I could sling it out there farther. But I would think the eight ounce would be the way to go. See, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to feel the uh, the tip of the rod like bend. Assuming I will, but we'll see. All right, I'll click it back on when I get a bite. I could feel something by the end of the line. Just want to see if they hit. Yeah, it's a pretty calm day. It was a lot nicer earlier, as you guys seen. And uh, I did these videos uh, the same day. So the last video on the beach, which uh, if y'all saw it till the end, didn't end too well. But um, yeah, the weather was a lot nicer earlier in the day. Now it's overcast as it usually is. But then it could have stopped me from getting out here and fishing. So yeah, I thought I felt the bite. I'm gonna check the line because I've been feeling a few taps. That sting is crazy when you set the line. Pull may be a little too big for out here. But I want to try it out, so. Yes, it takes a while to bring in. See, I know I felt something. Or that could have been. No, they were chewing on it. So as you guys can see right here, I'll bring it closer so you guys can see. My well, bait's barely hanging on right there, and the bottom one is gone. So I'm gonna switch out this uh, like torpedo, whatever it's called, um, eight ounce weight, and put the four ounce back on there. I got my like uh, diamond pyramid, probably pyramid, uh, four ounce weight. Doesn't matter what the hell the shape is. Anyways, so got my four ounce weight on there with my squid, and let's get it out. Yeah, this pole is pretty heavy to just uh, be holding on to it. Now I know why they're uh, mainly used for, well, strictly used for beaches. You can just put it in the pole holder and then if your drag starts going, then you pick it up then. There's a lot of thens in that sentence. Anyways, let's go. Hold on to this little, it's got like a little grip. To Horty. I guess that's the brand of the uh, um, rod. Let's swing her on out. for it to hit the bottom. It's not even moving. Okay. Tighten our lines. I'm gonna take a seat for this one. Let it sit out there for a while. Alrighty. I'll check back in if I get I've been feeling a few taps on there already. 
It's literally been out there 10 seconds. Just gonna wait for it to hit one more time. You can feel pretty good in this pool. I don't know if it's on, but I said it when it was hitting, so there's a good chance. There's not a lot of waves right now, so hopefully we get a fish, man. That'll be awesome. Ah, uh, nada. All right, we getting right back in that spot, though, because literally like 10 seconds after I threw it out, they were hitting. This time, the first time they hit, man, I'm just setting that hook and bringing them home to Papa. It just feels more intense when you're using this huge pole. I don't know why. Probably because it's double the size of my other ones. Man, yeah, keep those lines tight. Sit her down. Hits already, man. Like, that's instant. I think there might be something on. No, sir. Dang, dude. Something is toying with me. I'm gonna hook this better. All right, after this cast, I'm gonna switch to smaller bait. Like, cut it up smaller. Because when they hit it, I'll hook them right away. Right now, I think the bait's a little too big, but we'll give it one more shot with this size bait. Drop to the bottom. Okay, put in our natural bowl holder. Tighten the line. I think we might have fish on now. If not, I just missed him. That's pretty heavy. Dang, man, I don't know. I know I'm feeling bites, I ain't lying. Get it back out there again. I'm like just missing. I'm not feeling it right now. I'll click it back on when I get a bite. Oh. Feeling a bite. Keep the line as tight as possible.
I'm gonna reel it in and then uh, make the bait smaller. Dang, if I had the Marathon Ice Centennial rod, I probably would have got me a fish by now. get this bait off there put smaller baits on there and get back out. Alright that bait on there is like half the size as it was. I've seen videos on these uh, 12 foot poles over 10 feet poles that um you're supposed to let the what's called let the weight go down farther probably about six feet and then like swing it like that but on the jetty that's just uh, not really possible. You don't have that much space. That money spot. That's where they were all hitting. Let it hit the bottom. And now we wait. Oh, we just got a big hit right there. Hopefully, it's still on. Damn, I'm just missing this fish. This one I really wish I brought a second pole out. So I could just switch to the any other rod, man. I'll take my baitcaster out here and get them. That's probably what I'll do in the next video. I'll put a lure, I mean not a lure, uh, some uh, squid and a leader on the baitcaster. And I'll throw it out. Now we wait. Now we're feeling some taps on the end of the line. Wait for another one. Oh, that was a good hit, man. One thing is, this rod is so heavy, I can't tell if there's a fish on there or what. How am I missing this fish this many times? That's crazy. I'm gonna keep trying though. If I keep getting hit, I'm gonna keep trying. Repeat the process as always. So I just gotta set it when I feel that first bite. I feel something by the by the leader. Be a fish on. Just gonna reel it in slower this time. I just don't like how the, I don't know if you guys see that, but the end of the rod it dips a lot. It like bounces around a lot. I don't know if I could like shake a fish free or what, but. How's even possible? I should have like four fish by now. 
It's crazy. Well, don't let them keep trying. That's a little to the right. That's pretty far though. Like that would be a great cast for any other rod I have. This one I barely even have to throw it and it goes that far. Got another seal like right there. But he's along the, the rocks. I'm way out there so I don't think he'll affect my fishing. I don't know where. He was just like right in front of me. I'm feeling something hitting. Just set the hook and I didn't feel anything after that so I don't think it's on but just gonna wait a little longer. I think there might be like a school or something out there. Like straight ahead. So I keep hitting this one spot. That's where they'll hit. If I go a little bit to the right of it, they don't hit. I'm gonna check because it's like it's pretty heavy. I doubt it, but it doesn't hurt to check. No, sir. Damn. That's crazy. I think this might be a world record for how many times you miss a fish. Alright, still got our baby bait on there. Ah, that's too far to the right. Line tight and see what happens. I'm gonna check the bait, see if uh, we have bait still on there. It's been a while. I'm starting to lose confidence in today because I've been mean, feeling a ton of bites. Just think I brought the wrong rod. Then again, I just wanted to try this one out. So let's give them a I'm gonna try casting this one out a little more to the left. It's like no bait on there. Almost no bait on there. So we'll give it another swing. Same freaking spot. Dang. Well, hopefully that pans out. trying to go more to the left but <laughs> didn't really work out right. keep this one tight as always dude I don't know what this is but it's hell heavy what the hell either it's a ton of seaweed or it's a fish, but this is so heavy, dude. Oh, man. I got a crab. Oh, I just got off. Damn, dude. I had a crab on there. No baseball cap. I had a freaking, I had a crab on there, man. Oh, wow. It was a dungeness. Damn, dude. Couldn't land it, though, so it doesn't count. 
Man, that was right there. Wow. I couldn't keep it anyways. Cause it's not crab season. Damn. I doubt you guys saw that on the video. Cause it was like down there. Well, obviously it's in the water. Man. Oh, we got to bait up again for that. I was going to wrap it up right there, but we can't. Let's get back up. That was a bummer. I literally hella heavy reeling it in. And then once I got it to like right by the rock, I snagged it up on that bottom rock right there. See if I can get it like that last rock. Oh man, it got off. If I'd have been standing up, I'm trying to stand up on my freaking. There's. Man. That would have been nice. No, I couldn't have kept it, but. I'm just scared this bird away because he's right. What I'm trying to cast. That's gonna cast hella far. Wow, I didn't feel any bites, nothing. Just trying to check my check my bait. And I was like, man, this feels super heavy. Like I'll just bring it in dead weight. That's crazy. Wow. All right. Well, let's get back in our spot. Was gonna wrap it up, but it can't now. We almost got a, almost got ourselves a dungeness. How are we feeling? Thunder hits. I'm just gonna start reeling. Stand up for this one, so I don't want to lose another one. Bees everywhere. Dang, man. If I wouldn't have lost that crab. But if you don't bring it in, it does not count. Get back out there. There we go. That's where we want to go. Man, that is gonna disappoint me for the rest of the day. That was crazy. That was so freaking heavy, dude. I can't believe that. Oh, there's another seal. Blue seal's crying because the giants suck. This is just chilling in the water. Riding the waves. You guys see him? He's like right there. Little harbor seal. Oh, feeling some bites. Hit again. That was weird, man. Just had it out there for how long? He must have just been sitting on there. So I didn't feel him tug at all. Just started reeling. I was like, man, this is super heavy. Oh, that was cool. Check it. So I've been feeling a ton of bites. Damn, I wish I, I wish I still had that crab, man. I'll make this one the last cast. Been out here for I'd say close to like two hours now. to the bottom. 
Yeah, low tide's in about an hour, so. Let's see what we can do. Alright, I'm feeling bites, I'm just gonna be patient. Set the hook hard. No way, man. I think I did one more. If I'm getting bites, man, I just have a hard time leaving. Alright, this is officially the last one, for sure, no matter what. If I don't fish on there, it's still gonna be the last one. Just felt a huge hit, dude. Oh, I took my bait, man. Yep. Alrighty, that's gonna do it. Alright, guys. So that's gonna wrap this one up. I almost caught a crab a dungeness crab it was pretty good size i'll say about six inches hopefully i could see it in the uh the footage but i don't know hopefully but um yeah so it was a pretty productive day i guess i don't know i got a lot of bites which is i mean better than nothing so yeah that's gonna wrap this one up uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe share with your friends so they can watch it and grow this channel a little bit more and we will see you in the next one